there is a famous saying in the biotech industry and that is if you are sitting start walking if you are walking start running and if you are running then run a marathon not 100 meter race hello and welcome to biotechnica today we are in a new series new session on career launchpad and we are going to talk about ai in biology we are going to help you launch your career into ai in biological research and before that i want to make it very very clear ai is advanced if you really want to get to ai then it is important to learn bioinformatics first because if you know bioinformatics then only you can apply ai in bioinformatics and you can do things better okay so if you have any kind of basics in bioinformatics today's video is going to be helpful of course even if you don't have a background in bioinformatics today's video is going to be helpful but today we are going to understand how ai can help us build a strong career in biological research now for that matter how does biological research work now biological research works in one simple way you wear a lab coat go into the lab and play out with some chemicals some real organisms and find out how things are working but that is what scientists have been doing for last 100 years but all of that data is available today so our scientists have created libraries out of those data and now you can use ai and bioinformatics to use those libraries to analyze interpret extrapolate whatever data you're getting and imagine you could achieve a result better so we're going to dive into all of that in today's video let's start with the agenda first what we are going to discuss in today's video so we are going to talk about why a biologist needs ai what are the essential ai skills you will need what kind of experience you need how can you build your professional network and then how what are the career path you should follow then we will be discussing the real world applications of ai in biological research then we will be discussing how can you navigate the obstacles which you will face while you are doing your research using ai then we will be talking about resources and then finally we will share how can you contact biotechnica for your journey for your for launching your career in the biological research now let's start with the first task which is why do you need ai at all let's not use ai correct so it is like i want to move from bangalore to san francisco and i will take a bullock cart right can i reach there definitely but it may take at least um, i think 10 years right or maybe more same way if you do not use tools techniques technologies and workflows then you will be slow and you know what i told in the beginning industry hates slow people industry loves people who are fast who will adapt fast right charles darwin theory it is not the strongest of the species it is not the species which will be the fittest but the species which will adapt to change and that has to be you so you have to adapt to ai so so that you can speed up the process of biological research right ai accelerates that's the first keyword it accelerates what data analysis then identifies complex pattern now atgc is a simple four letter word correct but when you combine it in different sequences it becomes complicated to the naked eye you cannot visualize using bioinformatics tools also it is like a small ambassador car but when you have ai it is a sports car it's a posh that is where it supports predictive modeling in genomics now what is predictive modeling what if you could predict that if i do this this will happen so if i change the sequence of the dna the uh, atgc this is what might happen using the libraries we could we could predict that's what is predictive genomics and personalize the medicine so today you have one size fits all medicine you have a headache take paracetamol i have a headache take paracetamol but when it comes to cancer hiv anti aging and various other neurodegenerative diseases we need personalized attention to the person because one size fits all doesn't work here that is where ai helps us analyze what is the genomic sequence what will work what will not work and accordingly give the personalized healthcare solutions so that is where ai is needed in biological research so that we can accelerate the current research speed 
Now, what are the skills you require? So, I've divided this slide into four parts. The first is the programming programming language here. So, Python, of course. Python is very simple. It's like general conversational English. So, you can learn Python. Then you can uh, learn various AI tools like uh, TensorFlow, PyTorch. Then you can uh, learn data visualization. That is where you need the R programming language in biological research. So, R programming will help you visualize the data. And in fact, R will help you do a lot of coding for AI also. So, this part you can learn in AI in biology as well as coding for biologists. We have a separate initiative you can learn. Then now, this side we have the data analysis and statistics. Now, many people think that it is maths. It is logic. Logical thinking is data analysis and statistics. And of course, you're going to use various tools. What are the tools? MATLAB, right? Statistical tools which can be used for visualizing biological data, MATLAB. Then you can use matplotlib and ggplot too. So this is again used for data visualization and interpretation. Remember, mathematics is the bottom, the foundation of biological research. So you can't ignore, but definitely, even if your math is weak, you can learn bioinformatics and AI ML. Now we have machine learning. So what is machine learning? Unsupervised and supervised learning. So let's say that there is a graph x-axis and y-axis and there are small dots on it, right? So our artificial intelligence can predict based on what? Pattern. So who will find that pattern? Machine learning will find that pattern. And how it will find the pattern? Supervised. When it finds the pattern, asks us and we will say it is right or wrong unsupervised, where it doesn't need us and it will on its own find the pattern. That is unsupervised machine learning. Now, model evaluation and validation. Now, what is that? What are we learning here? We did the supervision and now whatever model we created, the machine learning model, we'll evaluate what is the efficiency, what is the accuracy of this model and that is what is model evaluation and validation. Next comes your uh, bioinformatics knowledge, like I said, you cannot move one inch in AI without bioinformatics. So you need genomics and proteomics knowledge. That is where you have FASTA, FASTQ. Then you have biological uh, databases like NCBI, Insymbol, Unitprod. So all of this you will be using to retrieve the biological data, which is already stored there in form of biological libraries. So this is these are the four types of skill set you require. And all of that can be learned at Biotechnica with the help of our scientists. And this is not just the uh, the uh, beginning. Once you have learned this, you can do actual research in Biotechnica using these softwares and you can publish your papers. And that's the beautiful part about Biotechnica's training program on bioinformatics and AI ML. Now let's move on. What are the practical things you need to do? So first you need to... Uh, do the uh, internship. So you can see here internships and projects you should be doing, research projects that you can do at Biotechnica. Six months, one year, three months, we have the projects which you can do. And then so this can be academic in internship or you can be in Biotechnica that is industrial internship or it can be in a government or a non-profit. So you, depending on where you are getting, you can do. Next will be participating in hackathons, participating in collaborative research. And then of course you have to build a portfolio because it's like resume, right? In resume, you write, these are the projects you did. So here you are going to mention, these are the, pro, pro, you know, softwares you have used. These are the, these are the papers you have published. These, uh, your, uh, the, the entire thing has to be demonstrated. So it's kind of a demonstration of your existing uh, skill set. So that's where the portfolio comes into picture. Now, coming to the next part, which is networking and professional development. Remember, it is not about learning. It is about applying that learning to reach out to people, let them know that you exist, let them know that you have all this skill set and let them know that you are ready to be hired, right? So that is where you have to attend conferences, you have to leverage the social media, especially LinkedIn and Biotechnica, then joining professional organizations like groups and uh, like we have Bioinformatics Members Association at Biotechnica, you can join that. Then of course you have to keep learning new skill set and publish, very important, publish, publish, publish. Once you've learned the skill set, do the research, Go and publish because that helps you build your reputation in the research world, right? So that's where networking and professional development comes into picture. Now, followed by that, what kind of jobs you can get? So the first simplest job you can get is an academic research. You can become a professor, postdoc, right? Uh, you can become a faculty or you could work as a research scientist in academic universities. Then you have biotech and pharmaceutical companies like 
Biocon, Syngene, Illucidata, Genotypic, all of them are hiring bioinformatics scientists, data scientists, computational biologists. Then, of course, you can work in hospitals and healthcare setups, clinical research. You can work as a clinical bioinformatician, health data analyst, or medical scientist. Then, in tech companies like Infosys, Wipro, Accenture, TCS, you can work as an AI researcher machine learning engineer and product manager. Just last week, I placed a candidate in Accenture and they are doing a research on, um, um, I cannot disclose the exact thing, but they are doing a research on retina. So um, the impact of how the retina uh, gets impacted through aging and they are using the machine learning to learn that and design the model so that we can predict when the retina is weak and it needs help. So we are, they are developing a tool. So yeah, this is one thing where you can also contribute. So job opportunities is huge. Just last to last month, I saw a vacancy which, where we placed a student in Illumina and the internship stipend was one crore. Can you believe that? Okay, so coming to applications, what can you do with AI, ML in biology? So first thing you have is G and genomics data analysis. You can do, so for now, right now you have Google Deep Variant which uses Deep uh, learning to improve the accuracy of genomic sequencing data analysis. The next one which we have is predictive modeling in epidemiology. So we can use Blue Dot, which is again an AI tool to predict the, and track the spread of infectious diseases, providing early warning signs of what can happen in the future if we do not control it. Then we do have AI in agricultural biology. A lot of companies, including Bayer, are, is working on it. You must have heard of this company called as John Deere. If you don't know, John Deere actually started as a tractor company. Then they got into CCTV and today they are into uh, this AI-driven solutions for precision agriculture, optimizing crop yield. Imagine a tractor company is getting into AI. Why? Because it is so huge. And then we have personalized medicine where Tempus is using AI to analyze clinical data to tailor cancer treatments to individual patients. So these are the four or five applications I have thought to include. But there are multiple other uh, applications like using AI in malaria, dengue, cancer and whatnot. So AI can be applied into many things. All you can do is understand. Now one thing I wanted to be very clear is even if you apply AI, challenges will always be there. But I always see challenges as opportunity. And that is what I want you to tell you. So when you integrate AI into biological data, there will be challenges. So you can see uh, the challenges here. Interdisciplinary knowledge gap will be there. Because, now what is the problem? Biologists don't know computers. Computer scientists don't know biology, right? So this, this, this gap is there. If you learn what we are teaching in Biotechnica, you can bridge that gap. And that challenge you can finish. And that is how you can get a job faster. The second will be data standardization and quality issue because if the data is not of high quality, even if your machine learning model is good, it will not work. Third is ensuring patent, patient and research subject confidentiality because that patient data is being used to train the AI model. So that is where we have to maintain the ethics and confidentiality. And then last is ethical consideration in, in, of AI-driven research and applications because we don't know how it can be misused also. So yeah, that will be the challenge. Now coming to the Solutions what we have so we can encourage more cross-disciplinary education and training and that's what we are doing right now. We are asking you to join AI in biology research programs at Biotechnica and that's how you can get more jobs. Of course, we will be developing in the future. Governments will also come in and they will develop standardized protocols for data sharing and collection to make sure that confidentiality is taken care. Then we will be implementing robust data protection and establishing ethical guidelines, of course, by RAC and various DBT is working on this as we speak. So yeah, we do uh, see a lot of things. Now coming to the final thoughts which I would like to give here. According to me, AI is the future of biological research. Whoever is not learning now will be left out or he will have to pay an AI scientist to work on his biological data. Instead of wasting money on that, learn today, earn more tomorrow. According to a survey, your salary can grow by eight times if you learn AI ML in biology, in the biological research. So AI is obviously not just revolutionizing biology, it is here to revolutionize your career since very less people know it. So your chances of getting employed is high, your chances of getting a job is high, your chances of getting a high paying job is very high. So I think this is the right time to learn AI in biology and that is why Biotechnica has a lot of 
suggested reading and journals available at in our uh, study portal and app and of course you can go for our ai in biology training program which is starting from 26th of august and in this program it is completely online you can learn you can practice you can visualize you can create ai models you can go ahead and do your research publish paper along with our scientists you're working on real project with a real scientist and not just academic projects imagine you're doing industry driven projects in this course in this training session and then you will get work experience letter and recommendation letter from biotechnica because you worked on a real project so all the details are given in the description go ahead and en- enroll yourself and i'll see you soon as a ai scientist what say let me know in the comment section keep sharing till then take care bye bye